bit tired. And you look extremely gorgeous. Oh, don't change the subject. No, I'm fine, love, honest. No, honey, you're running yourself into the ground. If you're not working, you're doing childcare, and if you're not doing that, you're wearing yourself sick of a ball. Right, is this your roundabout way of saying that I'm not giving you enough attention? Yes, I would like to spend a little bit more quality time with you. Thought so. Mm, clearly resistible. You know what, right now, so for you just taking care of yourself just a little bit. Yeah, you and me both. What, you're gonna tag team me? You are spreading yourself a bit thin. Oh, not you and all. What is this, my the Bernie day? Honey, just take a night off. Yeah, that's an order. In fact, I'm cooking Billy's world famous pasta bait for you both. I'll, I'll cook. Don't you overdoing it. I'm capable of knocking up a bit of grub. Six o'clock at our place. Take a night off and I'll bring liquid refreshments. Mm -hmm. yeah. Well, it looks like you've got your own way, don't it? Always. Mm -hmm. Stop making it weird. I can go shopping. I'm, I'm happy to go after work. Billy, stop mollycoddling me. Just a worry. I know. But I need you not to sometimes. Deal? Deal. All right, stop. I'll see you later. Hey, Paul. I was just about to call you. Listen, mate, I need some information. About what? I've been asked to represent a guy that I believe you've crossed paths with. Right, when you say cross paths with... Well, I suspect you might have been involved in that car insurance scam. Do you know about that? Because... I thought Dee Dee had said that just there between me and her. Relax. It's totally normal for us to be across each other's cases. I'm basically looking for an excuse to turn them down. But if you don't want to give me a name, I totally understand. Trust isn't a given. I think it's Niall who you're on about. I didn't get his surname, no. Yeah, yeah, I think that's the guy. Yeah. Uh, he's got a place on Benson Street. Him and his brother own a tyre repair shop there. It's part of his stolen car sideline. I'd watch yourself, though. It's seriously bad news. Yeah, yeah, so I've heard. Thanks for your help, mate. Cheers. Anytime. Plastered at this time of the day. You ought to be ashamed. You all right? Yeah, mate. Not damaged, but my street cred. You want to be more careful, mate. <laughs> hey! Hey, what's happened? I lost my footing. I'm fine. Manage. Sorry. Don't be sorry. <sighs> oh, Paul, what is it, darling? I can't even get off a bus. Can't so useless, I'm. No, no, you're not useless. You just, you just lost your footing, like you said. And we both know that's not true. Come on, let's get you up. Sir. be an internal problem. Please, let me call Dr Gaddas. Mum, stop nagging. It's just a few bruises. As for the rest, she's not going to tell me anything I don't already know, is she? Meaning what? Meaning I've got them in day. And bit by bit, day by day, parts of me are going to stop working. And you're just willing to accept that? It's not about willing. It... It's just a fact. Well, I refuse to think like that. Look, I know it's difficult to get your head round. I'll try impossible. I don't know what to say. You can say that I am not going to give up. I am not giving up. I'm just being realistic. Look, I know you ain't feeling helpless. Then let me do something about it. Like what? Give me crystals a go. Seriously? Right. If it is all downhill, like you say, what arm can it do? Come on. Oh. Give it a go. Just for me. Right, fine, OK. Just none of that clinky-clanky music, yeah? 
Theo. Oh, evening. Well, this is very unexpected. It won't be much longer. Dev, can you open the wine, please? I'm drier than a peppermint fart. I am on it. Um, maybe you should start dinner and all. Uh, yeah, of course. It's, it's just that you were so adamant about cooking. I know, it's just I, I had a little accident earlier. He fell getting off the bus. Why didn't you tell me? Because I didn't want to worry about nothing. It wasn't nothing. However, the crystals are doing the work. Give it five minutes and he'll be doing cartwheels. Mm. Do you respect, do you know? I think you should have got a professional medical opinion. She wanted to take me to Dr. Garris. And? And I said, no, what's the point? It's just a few bruises. What do you think this nonsense will help? Nonsense? Okay, come on, I think that's a little bit unfair. At least I'm being proactive. Tell him you're feeling better. So what's your answer, eh? A couple of amens and come by ours all round. Right, that's it. Time out. No, Paul, you're breaking the connection. Oh, ma'am, there is no connection. Yeah, but you said you could feel a flaw. <gasps> Didn't want to hurt your feelings. Listen, I'm going to have a lot more days like this. From now on, it's only going to get harder for me. And for both of you. You know, pretty soon, I'm not going to be able to control certain things. But when it comes to this, or religion, I'm not interested, OK? It is not for me. And you all need to respect that.